Dajian is holding for Shanghai. Great. Put him through and get him Mr. Grossman in Berlin right after. Thanks. Du Buchi, Daxing, Xinxiang. Woman, Hunan, Tian, Yilini, Kuan. Save now. Du Buchi, Shadow. Chen, hey. Spoke to Carl. I had him switch us to the Wednesday afternoon flight. Five days in the Bahamas. You in? Excellent. All right. I'll see you tonight. Du Buchi, Daxing, Xinxiang. Save now, Zhang Xie. Nizuas, Naishi. Ah, hello, Herr Grossman. Thank you for your ear and your cough. We are brought to Berlin and Numeran. So forth. Ah, we are here. There's no way they're going to give her the international position. Because sooner or later she's gonna drink the marriage and baby punch, and you can't hack that gig and a family overseas 300 days a year. Not happening. Mr. Roy, the projected numbers separated by quarterly comparisons, domestic profit by region. You're a lifesaver, Carl. How much time do I have? They're in the boardroom now, and you have two minutes. Oh, and your mom called. Again, wondering if you're coming home for Thanksgiving. She's working at the cafe. We'll call her at home. You'll get voicemail. It's darling. Don't judge me, Carl. Have you ever been to a Gerard family Thanksgiving? I don't think so. Hey, mom, it's me. Uh, yes, I am coming home. Sorry I missed you. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, love you. Bye. You are a terrible daughter. Love you. Mean it. What the Save Now customer wants in their mega store is convenience. Mark Twain once said, "Life has one principal objective: to make you do particular things you particularly don't want to do." <laughs> Which is why people shop with us. Upon completion, the Streetsville mega store will be our most profitable, with company profits expected to exceed eight percent within the first quarter of the first year. <laughs> What about their city council? Our deal was supposed to be approved a month ago. I'm from Streetsville, Dean. I know these people. If you still aren't sold on the benefits of a Save Now mega store, however, the mayor has signed a stipulation agreeing to negotiate in good faith. I feel confident that a resolution will be passed at tomorrow's hearing, and I'm going there personally to make sure that it does. There's a lot riding on this one. Streetsville will be our 100th store. Investors will be watching very closely. We've already announced a ceremonial groundbreaking, massive media blitz. Small town gives thanks to Save Now on Thanksgiving, whether they like it or not. There she is, the hammer. You're my ace in the hole, Gerard. We need that vote to go our way. This town needs one of their own to sell them on the idea, and that's you, genius. Everyone in here would sell their own mother. For that international job, you pull this off. It's as good as yours. I know. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, you know that one friend everyone has, who even on your cutest day always shows up looking hotter? Yeah, why is she here? Yes, welcome. Shut up! You're giving me some serious J Lo in those pants. Ooh, wait, Selena or uh, Jilly? Oh, fly girl. Ooh. Hello, lady. Ah, to us in the Bahamas in a week. I don't like the cold, and cranberry sauce freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is going to cry. I know it. You haven't told your mother yet. I told her. No, kind of. I mean, I didn't. I told her I was coming home. I didn't say that it was, you know, for Thanksgiving. As a shrink, I think you should know you're a terrible daughter. You need serious help. Look, I just don't buy that women can have it all. I think they have to make a choice. I made my choice. I chose career over marriage. Now you are looking at a successful, independent woman who cherishes the freedom to spend time with whomever she wants. Speaking of whomever she wants, who is that piece of yes? That's Derek. He owns this place. Lives in my building. We've hung out. Uh, well, don't look now. Here comes your rich, tall booty call. So, how goes life as a corporate shark? Vicious. How goes life as a five-star chef? Delicious. Let's leave them alone. 
Go out sometime for a change. Anything you want. Movie. Paris. Ice skating. With the rink just open for the season, we could go down. No, I don't do ice skating. I prefer my feet firmly planted underneath me. What a coincidence. I prefer my feet firmly planted underneath you as well. <laughs> that was horrible. Terrible, yeah. Hey. Woo. I say we try it again. Ah, uh -huh. very and funny. Then I shall make you some breakfast in no. the morning. We have talked about this. <laughs> and I don't do sleepovers and I don't do breakfast. Oh, come on. Everybody eats. That's what celery is for in the Bloody Mary. You don't do ice skating, you don't do breakfast. What do you do? Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, got it. Yeah, I need to be in Streetsville by one. you a ham sandwich. Actually, Mom, I'm not doing meat. Well, I'm not asking you to do it. It's chilly. How about some tea, then? What's in vogue in the big city now? Chai, pomegranate. We've got a nice new green ginger. You want to try that? Yeah, sure. You know, Mom, once the new save now opens, you'll have over 50 kinds of tea to choose from. What on earth would I need 50 kinds of tea for? I don't know. Options, maybe? No. If we don't buy our tea from the Chang family, how will I know that their son passed the bar or that Lynn's mother perfected her almond cookie recipe? Called Twitter. Great, thanks. So that's why you're here. The city council meeting later? It's one of the reasons, yes. Are you here alone or did you bring some of those lawyers with you? Because I can set extra places at Thanksgiving if you want. That's funny, Mom. Well, I'll take my daughter any way I can get her. You are staying for Thanksgiving, though, right? Man, could that thing be any more? Carter! Hey. You look! You too. Yeah. How's Chicago? Crazy. Busy. Crazy busy. Ah, I forgot something back at the job site. I... Okay. Good to see you, though. You too. didn't work out with him and Trisha. Oh, wow, that's a shame. And he turned all his woodworking into a custom cabinetry business. It's back ordered for over a year. Yay for Carter. <laughs> hey, we're here! Oh my gosh, look how old you got. And so did you, Jake. Oh, that's so nice of you, mouth breather. Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, just think now that you're finally here, Mom can shut up about how you never visit. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Maybe I'll just abandon everything I've worked so hard for and move right on back to good old Streetsville. Hooray! Then, by this time next year, you can be a single divorced mother just like me. Mm, excellent. It's settled. I have an idea I want to give to my business-savvy daughters. 
This is for me and my contemporaries who are going through the change. Okay. Instead of hot yoga, you have the AC cranked up to 50 and you have fans blowing like a storm. I'm calling it frozen yoga. Because those Zumba people have made a fortune and I think it's a lock. What do you think? It's yes. good, isn't it? Mm. Isn't it good? Yes. Well, please do tell us what you think. Uh, actually, it's interesting. There's definitely a market for it. I'm just a little curious, though. How do you burn any calories? The whole point of Bikram is to speed up the process to expedite. Excuse me, the whole point of yoga is to slow down and stretch and breathe. Yeah, if you have time to slow down, stretch and breathe. Give me that thing. Mom. Is there an app for stopping to smell the roses? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yes, and Mom tells me that you're staying for Thanksgiving. I thought that you were going to the Bahamas with your friends. The Bahamas? I, I assumed that you were staying here with us. I didn't realize the dates when I booked it, and now, uh, you know, the tickets are paid for, so... Well, I get it. I mean, that, that'll that be fun with your girlfriends. I just wish it wasn't Thanksgiving. But, you know, we're gonna just be doing the same old stuff we do every year anyway, so... It'll be fun. I'll be right back. I knew she was gonna cry. <laughs> You should have just told her you were going with a boyfriend. She would have driven you to the airport herself. Mm. Unless, of course, you don't want Carter to know. I did hear that he stopped by. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Good old Carter. Still single. Ow! <laughs> At this time, we'd like to motion for a vote. Save Now has made a new generous offer for the proposed site, and I think we all agree Mayor that... Mayor Gordon, we haven't agreed on anything except that most of us don't want that store in our backyard. Let's let Mel speak. It's easy to forget that this is not just an economic issue. It's emotional. It's not just about jobs, it's about identity. This is my home too. I love Streetsville, just like the rest of you. It's the very definition of homegrown. The shops, the food, the way of life. It's really something to be proud of. But building a Save Now megastore is not going to change that. Our philosophy is to embrace the identity of our communities. Then why did both neighboring counties reject your proposal? I'll tell you why, because a new Save Now is going to bring in thousands of people from surrounding towns. Next thing you know, the state is going to approve a highway coming through here, and then our tight-knit community is going to become just another anonymous suburb. These bulk stores, they sell everything. They're going to undercut local prices, and then you know what's going to happen. One by one, all of our mom-and-pop shops that we love, they will go under. Everyone should be given a choice in their future. Don't you agree, Carter? Well, I don't know, Melody. Not if that choice isn't mutual among both parties. I think what it boils down to is whether a town wants to remain mired in anonymity or be given the opportunity to grow. And I think growth is strongest where one's roots are deepest. Not unless they've been nurtured. Maybe they didn't want to be. Can we get back to the business at hand? I motion for a vote. No! No! Oh, we don't need a vote. A motion has just been made to delay the vote until after the weekend so that everyone can have a chance to read Save Now's latest proposal. I second the motion. Done. Smells good. Hey, Mom. Hey, honey, I'm doing some yoga. You want to do it with me? Uh, no. Hello. Hey. Wow, Elaine, look at you. Nice job. It must have been nice to spend the weekend with your daughter. Oh, it was wonderful when she wasn't on the phone. You got a sec? Uh, 
Actually, no. I am getting on a conference call in 34 minutes with Germany. Perfect. I'll have you back in 33. Wait, wait what are you doing? Put me Bye. down. Bye. You could at least get my coat. It's cold out here. This is it. A... Where are we going? You'll see soon enough. So, uh, what happened with you and old Trisha? Caught her in bed with someone. Wow, that's rough. Did you know him? Yes, I did know her. Sorry. That's... Okay, here we are at the corner of Memory Lane, and what is the point? The point is I bought it. Again. I thought we sold it when I... Took that job and left me? Yeah. New owner sat on it. I kept tabs on it, which aggravated the hell out of Trisha, but it aggravated her even more when I sold my place to buy it back after we split. Sounds like a healthy relationship. Spent the last year or so gutting it and doing all this, and pending the approval of permits, we open early next year. Watch your head, because I'm hanging some stuff from the ceiling, and the runner is not fixed yet, Melody. Please don't call me Melody. Wow, okay. I'm impressed. You did all this yourself? What? Strip away all the old, rebuild the foundation on my own, refinish everything myself? You're not speaking metaphorically, are you? What are you going to call it? The bitter B&B? &B? Huh? I see you in there, Mel. I, I, see, I see you under all this, under, under, under the uh, tailored suit and all that makeup you put on just to make it look like you're not wearing any. FYI, I'm happy. This is what happy looks like, see? Seriously half-starved? Physically and emotionally? <sighs> Wait, do you think I look skinny? <laughs> I think you are running from what you don't know to what you'll never know because you can't actually end up at a place that doesn't even exist. At least I'm trying. On the way here, I passed by the cemetery. That is further than most locals get from Streetsville. Has it ever even occurred to you that Streetsville isn't where they ended up, but where they actually wanted to be? I have to take Whether this. you like it or not, you are still you and I am me, and we are right here in this place that we used to be us. What do you want from me? What? It was a long time ago. It was like a hundred years ago. We were young. I don't know. It was bad timing. Congratulations on a job well done. But I'm going to leave now. After everything I've done here, your lawyers are uh, they're pressuring me to, well, no, threatening me to sell just so they can tear it down. I, I really had no idea. Our bed and breakfast is right where the parking lot is going to be. Okay, it's not ours. It's yours. And I'm sure you were offered fair market value. And I'm not sure you even know the meaning of the word value, Mel. Maybe you should look that up. Thanks for the tour. I'll walk back. I won't let it happen. Oh, really? What are you going to do about it? Melody, don't, don't. I can't. Don't call me Melody. Fine, just please remember. I remember everything. But the water's loose. <laughs> feeling what, what, what are you doing a man can't kiss his own wife no wife we're not married where do you live melody mel 6001 lake street chicago chicago oh, where do you work i'm the vice president of operations at save now your full name mel melody gerard Melody McClure, and we live on Elm Street, right here. 
in Streetsville. What? Okay, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I am not buying it. Sweetie, you got hit on the head, obviously a little bit harder than we thought, so you need to take it easy. You really don't know who these people are? No, I know who they are. I'm just not married, and I don't live in Streetsville, for God's sake. Mrs. McClure, you're obviously suffering some kind of delusion brought on by the head trauma. Could, you need to lie down and let me examine you further. What I need to do is get out of here. That's what I need to do. I mean, I know you guys don't want this door, but this is sick. Melody, you, you don't really think you're not married and you live in Chicago What I think is that you all have now? too much time on your hands, Melody, okay? Mrs. McClure, I have to pee. Does married Melody still pee? Bad dream, bad dream. Ow. No, it's real. Okay. It's a joke. It's a joke. Oh, they're crazy. They're all crazy. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. No? Just a minute. Doctor, what is going on? Physically, she's fine. Uh, the x-ray shows no hemorrhaging, only a slight contusion with resulting concussion. is that she's suffering from something called lacunar amnesia. It leaves a gap in the recorded memory. She's obviously filled it in with a, a fantasy, a wish fulfillment. You mean she wishes that, that she never... She, she'll need to see a specialist, but my understanding is that the gap usually closes in due time. Sometimes it only takes, you know, one small thing for it all to fall back into place, mm. uh, so to speak. Mel? You okay? in Chicago? Uh, um, uh, 6001 Lake Street, I think. 6001 Lake Street. Did you get your haircut? Looks great. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. oh. Somebody's late. Oh, I know, I know. You would not believe what they are doing to intimidate me. My whole family is in on it. I have a ton of fun, but right now I need you on the phone. Phone? But look, I need Dean, okay? I gotta talk to him. There's a problem with the city council vote. It's very, very important. Employment Solutions sent you? Oh, God, I know. It's so ugly, right? Uh, don't worry about it, though. It's a long story. I have more clothes in my office. Whoa! Look, lady. Okay, whoa, Carl. Lady, I'm your boss. Oh, really? Wait! This house gonna oh. Look, squirrel. Security! <gasps> Carl, I knew you were gunning for my job, but this is tad soon, don't you think? Can someone please call security?
Jen, thank God. Hi, guys. Oh, this is so great. They couldn't have gotten to you. They don't even know about you. I'm sorry. I don't think that we've... Um... See, I went home to Streetsville, and, and I hit my head. And then everybody started pretending like they don't know me. I mean, like it was like some elaborate plan, so I'll build a save now. Megastore, I don't know. Who are you? Yeah, who is she, Derek? What? Jen, it's me, your friend, you know, the one who always looks hotter than you, no matter how hard you try. <sighs> Look, I am sorry. I should have let you stay and make me breakfast. <gasps> I'm sure it would have been something so yummy, like frittatas or fancy scones. I don't know. Next time I will, okay? Jen? Oh, wow, someone's cranky. <laughs> Jen, you know what? You could have at least waited a couple weeks before you made your move. What about girl code? Guys? Mel! Mel! Are you okay? You, 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 can't, you can't run off like that, okay? You hit your head. Uh, what, am I supposed to just believe that everything I remember my whole life it was just a delusion brought on by head trauma? No, not your whole life. Just, just this part, I guess. The doctor said your memories are going to come back. Just one little thing can trigger the rest. Let me take you home. Come on. I can do it on my own. Okay. What? What? Did you see something? Remember something? No, I just keep thinking I'm getting punked. She's gonna be okay. I think she just needs some time to sort things out. We'll come by later, okay? Bye. That's uh, for the grand opening. We're almost finished renovating. This is where I hit my head. Yeah, this is where you slipped and fell, exactly. What, what, what else do you remember? What do you remember about us? I remember everything. Where do you want me to start? We dated all through high school. Got engaged right out of college, bought the inn. I got the job offer in Chicago. You didn't want to go. I took the job, so we broke off the engagement and sold the inn. Okay. But then you came back and, and we got married and then we bought this place back when the owners put it up for sale a year ago. They finished what we started. No, I didn't come back. Uh, yes, you did. Do you remember it was, uh... It was right after your dad died, and, and you stayed. No, I didn't. I left right after the funeral. I had to go overseas for work. My mom told me not to feel guilty and that she was fine. I didn't stay. Don't be ridiculous. You know how upset your mom was. I mean, what kind of daughter would leave her mother right after she loses the love of her life? A terrible one. So obviously it's going to take some time, but you're, you're going to be fine. You will. Hey. You're my sweet melody. You know that, right? Okay, how many times do I have to tell you? Please don't call me that. What are you talking about? You love it when I call you that. Okay, now I know I'm hallucinating. You should be resting. Yeah, I am. Anything coming back? I didn't lose my hearing, Mom. Sweetheart, try some of that ginkgo biloba tea. It's good for memory loss. What's happening? She's gonna be fine. 
Hey, Mel, we are all finished here. Hey, you. Good job. You want me to take it? Okay, I'll help out. Sure. Can I get a, a refill, Mel Doodle? Food drives already matched last year's, Mel. Taddy thinks you're sane. So do I. Thanks for getting Gordon to lift the alcohol ban at the skating rink. You betcha. Owners stay off, Russ. Wait, I own this place? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, you do, in fact. A chain of sweet melodies. Awesome, right? You've already got interest from Limited Partners. The first one was planned in Chicago. Come here, honey. Here's your tea, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mom. So. Life is planned with one principal objective to make you do all the particular things you particularly don't want to do. Is this always here? Always. Why? Is it triggering something? I'm sorry. I can't. I, I don't understand. Nisan Jiao, I Jiu Shu. Wan Bei So, Wu Li, Zhang Ho, Yao Xuan. Thank you. Population chart. Yeah, you made it. We were trying to, you know. Ugh, okay. <laughs> I drive a station wagon and I made an ovulation chart. I literally hate myself. Hey, uh, so should I sleep on the couch or? Maybe that is the best. Um, well, you know, obviously it's your room, so it's up to you. I couldn't find my pajamas, so I borrowed a shirt. Um, no, actually, that's yours. Oh. Lovely. Okay. <clears throat> um. Hey, what are the odds that you remember I sleep naked? Or that this, this is the key detail to jog your memory and sending all the rest flooding back? Pretty much looks the same since the first time I saw it in high school, but thanks for trying. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the doctor did say any little thing, so, it's, you know. Really? Is that what he said? Yeah. Hmm. Huh? What are you doing? No! It's right. It's I am going to tickle you because I know you pee your pants whenever you laugh too much. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Oh, my God. You pretty much know everything about me, huh? Yes, I do. I know, I know everything. I know that you like mayonnaise on your french fries. I know you love the smell of rain on the concrete. I know you hate techno music. I, I know that you lost your lunch on the Double Dragon at Fun World. Because I was there. It's been a long time since I felt like somebody knew me. For years, I've wondered what it would be like if I hadn't left. It was exactly like this. Only now I'm here, and I don't know if...
Do you remember what I said to you on our first date? Something like, just so you know, we are not having sex. Exactly. Still applies. Except it was more, like, just so you know, we are so not having sex. I hate you. Come on back inside, okay? Because it's it's uh, it's cold out. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I I tried, I tried really hard last night, but this isn't me. This this isn't my life. Uh, I am I'm, I'm vice president of a, of a global corporation. I'm going to the Bahamas. I have a suite on the beach. You want you want to go to the Bahamas? I'll take you. Okay, you 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 want to move back to the city? Fine, I'll I'll move back. Just don't leave me again, okay? The year after you left me, it was it was the worst year of my life. What? It was? That makes me so incredibly happy. The food in the fridge that, that was half eaten by you, I, I stopped eating it so I wouldn't have to throw it out. Oh, that is so sweet and kind of gross at the same time. I put your pillow in a plastic bag so I didn't lose your smell. Okay, that's a little stalkery, but go ahead. I left the shopping list up on the blackboard so I didn't erase your handwriting. I kept buying bananas and toilet paper and, and, and paper towel over and over again. Oh, this is so sadistically satisfying. You have no idea. For years, I have wondered if you were tortured when I left, and now I get to hear it firsthand. Please come back in the house. Please, come on. It's freezing. Come Why on. Why didn't you come after me? You told me. No, I waited and waited, and you never came. And eventually, the feelings of, of success filled up the feelings of loneliness. And then all the men, they covered up memories of you. And then the, 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 the highs of my career leveled out the lows of you never coming back for me. You told me that if you love something, you're supposed to set it free and see if it comes back. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What am I, a freaking boomerang? Have you never seen one romantic comedy? You are the guy. You're supposed to chase after the girl you love and stop her from getting on the airplane. You took my car. It's a metaphor. It was 14 years ago. And yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. Where are you going, Melody? No, again. No, no, there's nowhere to go, Melody. Hey, can you stop calling me Melody?
Oh, sweetie. Come on in. Angela's here, too. I barely made it past the cemetery. Dead people got further out of this town than I did. Honey, as long as you're sitting there, why don't you mash something? Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and it's not going to stop for a concussion. How could tomorrow be Thanksgiving already? Ugh, am I such a malcontent that I made up a whole new life so different from the one I already had? Yeah, hardly. You're the couple everyone loves to hate. High school sweethearts still in love? Really? Mal, we've had these discussions. I mean, of course you wonder what it would have been like if you'd never left Chicago. I mean, who wouldn't? Big-time executive, living in a high-rise, spending your money on whatever you want with whoever you want. Sorry. Look, I got a bad one. You saw me through that. But Carter... Carter's one of the good ones. Good time of year, honey, to be counting one's blessings. And from where I'm standing, you have a lot to be thankful for. Thanksgiving with the whole family is going to be too much. We can just lock ourselves up here and we can just order a pizza or something, okay? Hmm. You wish. They're going to look at me like I'm a circus act. No, they won't. They're going to treat you like they always do. That's my point. Okay. I'm sorry about yesterday. Kind of freaked out. This has to be hard for you, too. You want to do it? Oh, what? I, that's how you normally apologize. I, I just, I honestly thought maybe it might jog your memory a little bit. That's all. She owes us some money. I have a doctor you should meet. 100% holistic. His hypotonic therapy is revolutionary. Look at her. She's a new person. Here, I brought you some Chinese herbs to try. Okay. Well, I could really use your help in the kitchen. Thanksgiving is a funny sort of holiday, and every year families get together and celebrate everything they have in their lives, and then bitch and moan about it. So, here's the bitching and moaning! She's talking to you. I think she's talking to you. One more thing, and Mel doesn't know this, but Sweet Melodies won the SBB Merit Award. Come on! They were 
recognize small businesses and their relationship with the community. And Mel has built that relationship, not me. She has made Sweet Melodies a good neighbor and inspired this town to stay true to its roots. So I'm so proud of you, Ice skating. <laughs> I, I don't do ice skating. But we do. Remember? Actually, I do. That's our tradition. But but we don't have to. No, I want to. Why do you hate your name? Melody? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I want to be taken seriously. Melody's like Billy Flower Child. It's like one step away from Crystal, the cave. <laughs> Have you ever looked it up? I mean, do you, do you know what it actually means? Yes, melody. It's a melody. It's a melody. A melody is, by definition, a sweet succession of sounds, like sound a rocking chair makes when you're having coffee on the porch or the sound of you singing in the kitchen when you don't know that i can hear you <laughs> the sound of your sarcastic smart mouth that should actually just infuriate me but really just makes me want to see you even more don't worry i got you i got you i'm not gonna let you fall <laughs> Not the Bahamas, but it's ours. It is. It's ours. It's real, isn't it? Yeah. Is that okay? I don't know. I don't want it to not be real either. Happy Thanksgiving. This could be the night that a right or wrong Cause we're right where we belong Did you get your scone yet? No? Okay, hang on. Oh, you are gonna love that. Uh, let me grind that for you. Here you Sure. Can you take Bobby his scone? Ooh, Russ, uh, I ordered those extra Christmas dinners for the drive, so tell Patty to call me. Okay, we'll do. Okay. All right, so I got a table set. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, I just arrived. Uh, can I get a coffee, please? Yeah. I'm right there. Because Mayor Gordon has assured me she has all the votes on city council. Look, we were supposed to have broken ground uh, before Thanksgiving. Uh, I know the investors are breathing down my neck. What I need in Streetsville is a mole on the inside of the other side. Apparently, I don't have anybody yet saved now who knows what the hell's going on in this town. But that's why I'm here personally to seal the deal myself. Oh, oh. Oh, so, so. Uh, oh, that's, that's fine. You're Dean Wilcox. We met? Well, that's a loaded question. Excuse me? You're Dean Wilcox. I'm sorry, but I don't remember. Neither do I. But somehow, I do. Explain that. Man, am I missing something? Hey, Mel. Oh, hi, Carter. Carter McClure? Yeah. Oh, Dean Wilcox. You know, you're a hard man to reach. Yeah, it's funny because I thought we were perfectly clear that the answer is still no. Oh. 
But I have some news for you. News that'll affect your business. What is that, Mill? The inn has been denied its business permits. Imagine that. Oh, they're all in cahoots, those dirty rats. Well, they are offering double market value in hopes that we'll walk. Well, since they won't let you do business anyway, it might be an option to consider, even though I know it's not exactly what you want. What I want is just to keep what's ours. That, that's it. I mean, we didn't build this place up just so they could tear it down. They're not going to stop until they get what they want. We're in their crosshairs now. And it's not just the inn. No business in this town can compete with a store like that. This meeting is now in session. This is the final public hearing for the measure to approve construction of the save now. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dean Wilcox. And I just want to start by saying that we are not the enemy here, folks. Save now is on the side of the people. Well, I guess that means that neither of us want a megastore then. Oh. Here, here. Mm. Now, come on, Elaine. The data clearly shows this is going to be good for everyone, even Mel's Cafe. Do you intend to tear down my inn to make room for your new Save Now store, Mayor Gordon? There is a legal right to pursue certain procedures if the city believes that it's in the best interest of the city. What about a moral right? You. <laughs> You're the waitress who spills coffee on her customers. I am the waitress that owns the cafe where I spill coffee on my customers. <laughs> well, with all due respect, Did you... you show them the siphon report? Oh, no. That's in-house only, isn't it? That report details the expanded market shares of local businesses. It also shows that there is an average expectancy of five years before 92% dominant profit margins are achieved in every department. How does she know that? I have no idea. <clears throat> Who is this woman? You do have a legal right. It's all legal. That's how you sleep at night, right? Can we bring this to a vote? Yes, yes, I move Are to you really going to use the existing plot plan? Excuse me? What about the utility services? Setback requirements, the easement. <laughs> you want to fight? It'll ruin this town. No, save now is going to ruin this town, and we're not going to let that happen. No! We have no interest in a fight. I'm going to file a 441 injunction. There's going to be so much red tape, you won't even be able to open a toolbox. Who are you? I wish I knew. Well, you filed your injunction. It'll drain every resource you have. No, I made that part up. What? Did you see his face? He's unnerved. Okay, right now they have an 11B zoning permit. However, last year, a new provision was made which requires a six-month environmental review. Now, they have to file that with the state, but sometimes they purposely file that as a PEP progress report, which can bypass certain line item requirements. They know it's just going to get bumped right back to environmental, but their hope is they already have all the state signatures they need, so it's just a matter of paying a fine. Always easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission. Angela, I want you to go to the Department of Building and Safety. Get me that 11B permit. Mom, go down to City Records. See if you can find any grandfathered zoning laws. Maybe we'll get lucky and the inn was built on sacred burial ground or something. Okay. Carter, find all the documentation on the inn. Tax records, purchase agreement, everything. You should all be so lucky to bump your head. Go. Oh. Look, Rachel, you're a career politician. I happen to know what votes count most for you. And for some reason, I don't really understand why, I know in great detail how Save Now does business. Whatever promises they have made you, you are going to end up footing the bill. They've assured me the town and the save town now can are. save now are equal partners. Just give me some time, and I will show you that they're not. We still have 48 hours before the council votes. But what are we going to do? We don't have the resources to fight them, Mel. But we have something better. Something we don't want to lose, so we are going to find their Achilles heel and exploit it. When I was at Save Now, 
companies like Save Now put public image above everything else. I think we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. What inspired you to take action against Save Now? Well, so often people feel like they don't have a voice, like the system is bigger than us. We're simply saying, not in our town, not anymore. Yay, Let's Mel! Let's put the priority back in the community and not so much on the profit. David, or in this case, Mel versus Goliath. Only this time, it's not a simple stone she carries in her sling. It's a way of life. But will it be enough? To Who the hell is this man? Corporate giant? She knows too much. Stay tuned. They must have hacked our system. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Not on our 100 store opening. Well, maybe there's a way that we could turn this to our advantage. How? By turning it to hers. Yes. You look so good. That was Great a great job, now. This is now. Relaxed and confident, just hanging out on TV. It's Dean Wilcox from Save Now. Uh, yes. No, I don't. Okay. Um, I will see you tomorrow at 11. Well, he wants to meet with me. I think we did it. I don't know what Mr. Wilcox intends here, but I assure you, if your time at Save Now extends beyond this meeting, I will make it a living hell. No, you won't, Carl. You'll suck up to my face and then talk about me when I leave the room. But that's business. Good luck with that. Mrs. McClure, so nice of you to come. May I call you Mel? Sure, Dean. You're savvy. A real commando. Good qualities in business. And that's what this is about. Business, right? Actually, I think in this case, it's a little more personal. I understand. Please, have a seat. I prefer to stand. You invited me here because you're in trouble. Bad PR is not so good for the bottom line, right? I think you overestimate your position. All this bad press. We've dealt with it before. It'll go away before that store opens. It always does. And guess what? The people still come and buy from us. And what am I doing here? They could use someone like you. <laughs> You're joking, right? You're smart. Good in a room. Made mincemeat out of me. And you seem to have an intuition about our business. Starting salary, 150. Condominium, car. Let's be honest. Small town living can be nice, but it can get a little stale after a while. What about the store? Once you sign on here, you can be my person on the inside of the other side. So you want me to go back and tell them that we lost and that I took a job with Save Now? I want you to go back and tell them that there are some offers that are simply too good to refuse. Me, you would uh, come to Chicago with me? Yeah. Well, they offered you a job? Are you serious? What do they think? They can just write you a check and get whatever the hell they want? A $150,000 check and a condo, new car. Wait, you actually considered this? I don't know. It felt kind of good to be wanted like that, you know? Carter, that is who I was. That is who. I thought I was anyway, and, and I don't know how I know all that stuff, but somehow I'm really good at it. I, I just don't want to feel like I'm... Stuck? I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to. So what are you going to tell everybody, that you got a better offer? I mean, is that what you're telling me right now? Aren't you tired of working yourself to the bone just so you can get ahead? Have you ever even considered that maybe we already are ahead? That's why I turned them down. Turn them down, you big oaf. Mel, 
already said no. You okay? Yeah, you might want to nail down that runner before we open. So you really turned him down? Yes. What kind of scoundrel do you think I am? I think you're a cute one, so I'll take my chances. <laughs> Whoa. What? You okay? Yeah, I, I just felt this weird feeling all of a sudden that I'm finally ready to accept that all of this is... Real? Yeah. Everything is so real. quite a scare. Oh, what am I doing here? You took a fall at the inn. You've been out cold. You have quite a lump on your head, Miss Gerard. Gerard? Melody Gerard? Melody McClure. Excuse me? Melody McClure. We're married. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Married? Interesting. Uh, where do you live? Elm Street. Okay, Doc, I think she might need some more tests. Oh. <gasps> Not again. You think that we are married? Yes. No. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I hit my head, and I woke up in the hospital, and I thought that I worked at Save Now and lived in Chicago. You do. Yes, and I was conceited and rude. You are. Well, you've been out for a couple of hours. You've been dreaming. No, it was real. And you were there, and you were there, and you were there. And there's no place like home. And we had hey. a great big Thanksgiving dinner. Sweetheart, Thanksgiving isn't for three more days. You just got here on Friday. But, oh, I'm just so glad you're okay. Can't say that the rest of the town feels the same way. Okay, um, can I talk to Carter alone? It didn't feel like a dream. It was so real. <laughs> it's not funny. No, I, actually, it, it, it is kind of funny. Well, I mean, not the part where you got hurt seeing you like this. It's, it's almost the girl I remember back when... What? Never mind, it was like 100 years ago. Okay, look, I'm so sorry that I didn't come back sooner, but I'm here now. You, you have... Some nerve. 14 years later, you, you think that I'm actually holding on to something? Well, I am so sorry to disappoint. Okay, you know what? It wasn't all my fault. You did not care about my feelings. You know what? I had aspirations. Oh, you had aspirations? Yes, I did. Aspirations. But you know what? I wasn't ready then. But I'm ready now. Mel, what, what are you doing? I'm a pants. No, look like I'm doing. Not a good idea. No, it is a good idea. Oh. Okay, there it is. She's down. I'm okay. I'm up. Let's go. Let's go to the mayor's office. Wait, what? Listen, buddy. I fell for you. Literally, just now, fell for you. So don't blow this, okay? You actually expect me to help you get this done? No, to stop it. Move it. So why the sudden change of heart? I told you it wasn't so sudden. I gotta get you back. You, you need to see a doctor. It wasn't so bad. Actually, it was pretty great. What? Staying back. Being with you. I saw you last Friday and for like an hour this okay, morning. Don't play coy with me, Carter McClure. I know you have my pillow in a plastic bag. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? And you may or may not have 14-year-old mayo in your refrigerator. You're delusional. Do you know that? Are you are you on bath salts? Yeah, there it is, right there, that look in your eye. I bet you even looked up the definition of the word melody, didn't you? Yeah. In your case, it's that annoying song so grating on your nerves that you just, just can't, can't get, get it out, out of your head. head. I love you too, Carter. No, I think everyone will be good neighbors about this in the end. Thank you. You too, sir. Bye. Speak of the devil, that was your boss on the phone. Don't send the land deeds. Oh, I just messengered them all to the lawyers three minutes ago. <laughs> it's a done deal. It doesn't even have to go to a vote. Congratulations. This is Mel. Mel! Dean. Nice work. You caught him, Hammer. Now I need you to get back in here. Oh, what did the mayor say? 
What's that? Eminent domain. What does that mean? If the city decides it's in the best interest of the municipality, they can take whatever they want. They can take anything from anybody like it or not? Yeah. So they're going to tear down the inn. <sighs> Can't we stop them? No. It's over. I'm sorry. Too little, too late. been here more after dad died to make sure that you were okay and I didn't I should have come back more over all the years and oh, it was a mistake a big one I'm sorry thank you for saying that I appreciate it but I understood I knew you were busy hey, did you ever regret leaving Chicago Never. You girls wanted a yard to play in. Your daddy and I fell in love with this town. The people, the architecture, the history. The first time we ever visited, we stayed right here. Hmm. And Carter's Inn. A who's who of people have stayed here. Built in 1870, right? Yep. You know what else I like about this town? On almost every street, there is an old building that if you ask what stood there 100 years ago, it would be that same building. We may be outnumbered by the money people who think value is in the future, but there is value in the past, too. I borrow these, Mom? Sure. So, when are you heading out? I think the sooner I get out of Dodge, the better. Love you. Love you. Dean is looking for you. <laughs> oh. Mel, good timing. Congratulations and a great job. Um, Dean, I need to speak to you alone. It's important. What do all of these have in common? I don't know. They're all dead? Yes, that. But what else? Most of these buildings are still there. They mean something to the people that live there, the, the, the people that were born in them, the people that are going to die in them. What are you getting at? What I'm getting at, what I'm saying is they had value when they were built. They still have value today. Did you bump your head or something? Yes, but that is besides the point. The point is, is we break ground on our hundred store tomorrow. And what I'm hearing from my hammer is that maybe we ought to reconsider. Yes. These people... These people, I'm afraid to say, Mel, are going to be like these people in this photograph. Dead and gone. Progress lives on. Oh, and when this deal closes, that international position's yours. Head of Overseas Development. You're giving me the position. Yeah, shark like you, no kids, nothing to tie you down. You're the perfect person for the job. Your itinerary. Itinerary? The Bahamas. And congratulations on the international gig. I always knew you would get it. Thanks. And then he says, Oh, my girlfriend gave it to me. <laughs> And I'm like, really? I just spent 45 of the best flirting minutes of my life, and now you tell me you've got a freaking girlfriend? <laughs> Hello, Earth to Mel? Yeah, where are you? I'm right here. 
Where we always are. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we boring you? What do you know about dreams? What, like failed ones? It was so real. It was like it wasn't a dream. It was like I was really there. But I wasn't. Was I? Was I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, we leave tomorrow for the Bahamas. You're acting like we're at a funeral. And you just got a promotion. What could you possibly be depressed about? I'll see you guys at the airport. Public Archives, 1870 to 1900. Thank you. Oh, and I'm sorry I called you a suck up. you're on a flight to the Bahamas. Oh, uh, no, I um, have a couple hours. Well, I'd rather still see you at the ceremony. I mean, after all, it's all happening because of you. No, 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 no. You don't want me there. I am pretty much public enemy number one. Besides, I'm uh, looking into a new EPA filing. Yeah, we could have a problem. Don't like problems, Mel. Bradley, our CEO, is flying in from New York and uh, not in a very forgiving mood. I am working on it. Don't start until I say so. Fix it. Before Bradley fixes me. And two guesses who I fix. I intend to. Hey, it's Carter. Leave a message. Carter? Hi. I know I am the last person that you want to talk to right now, but I need to talk to you. It's really important, okay? So call me back. You do know tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm aware of that. We usually like to close early the day before Thanksgiving. Give us more time to prepare for Thanksgiving dinner, which is tomorrow. This is very important. It's no small thing cooking dinner for the entire family. I'm sorry. They're about to start the bulldozer. I can't, I can't even get in to finish getting my stuff out. It's a real nice company you work for. I don't have time to explain. I need your help. You want my help? Yes, stall them. And how do I do that? Use your imagination. Hello? Mel. Mel, how do I do that? Carter? Hello? Mom. Mom, I need your help, okay? Listen, get everybody over to the inn right away. Okay, well, well, what's happening? Don't let them touch the inn, okay? Do whatever it takes. Tell them to stall the bulldozers. Got it. I'm on the case. <sighs> okay. I need you to fill these out. What are you guys doing? Mel called Mom. 
on. She rounded up the troops. How can we help? We need to stall them. Okay, how do we do that? They're not going to bulldoze a kid. Okay. Let's go for it. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, hi, Miss Reynolds. Um, I have a lot of people waiting for me. Really? So do I. 27, in fact. Guests. Tomorrow. Hello? Mel? Where are you? The flight leaves in 30 minutes. I can't go. What are you talking about? This was your idea. We need you. No, you don't, but there are some people who do. I'm sorry. I, I have to take this. Wait! You can't do this. Hello? Mel, I thought you said you had these people under control. I'm still in Chicago. I will be there in 30 minutes, okay? Just wait. Well, everything looks in order. Perfect. Okay, great. Thank you so much. But I really get going. There's just one more thing. All this paperwork that you filled out and all this paperwork that I filled out. Right, 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 right. It's going to take 30 days. What? It takes 30 days before the review board can finalize a nomination of this magnitude. No, no. The inn is set to be demolished at 3 o'clock. Well, the only way to stop it is to file an injunction with Judge Stanton, and uh, government offices are closing. Okay, where is Judge Stanton's office? Up on 3. But he usually leaves early. Okay, thanks a lot. Judge Stanton again until Monday morning at 9 o'clock. I just really need you to issue an injunction. Uh, we're closed. No, I still have one minute, see? Oh, hang on. Sorry. Hello? Mel, you're not here within the next 10 minutes. This whole thing's gonna go south. I told you, I am getting the proper paperwork. If you call me one more time, I will personally rip your pants off and shove them where the sun, I'm assuming, has never shined. Judge, just take a look at this. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Yes. We're closed. I know. But if you understand the meaning of Thanksgiving, even just a little bit, the people of Streetsville, a lovely little town just southwest of here, will be very thankful if you help me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's still 30 days. <laughs> no, okay, 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 okay. Take a look at this. Does this change your mind? Cost. She said 30 minutes, 30 minutes ago. Whatever it is, we'll figure a way around it.
We can't demolish the end. I don't understand. Here, look at this photo. I don't understand. Look at the man. The man in the middle. That man is Mark Twain. He was once part owner of this inn over a hundred years ago. That qualifies this as a historic landmark. I still don't understand. We touched that inn, they shut us down. You know, according to our land survey, that this is the only site that suits our construction plans. I'm afraid this store is DOA. I'll fight it. I don't think this is a fight we can win, Dean. We always win, Mel. Do we? We talk about value a lot to our customers and our communities. I'm wondering if we need to look the word up. I know I had to. Value, the regard that something is held to deserve. A person's principles or standards of behavior. One's judgment of what one is thankful for in life. It's not just about dollars, Dean. It's about people, families, a way of life. We lose sight of that, we lose everything. Mel? You're fired. Oh, I don't think so. I think she's making quite a point here. And I think Miss Gerard has a bright future with this company. Thank you, Miss Bradley, but I think I have fallen in love with Streetsville again. Well, I guess that's what I mean. We pride ourselves on improving job services, a partnership with communities like this. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Wilcox? Yes, Miss Bradley. But not when it's not needed, and most importantly, not when it's not wanted. I think you'd agree with that too, Mr. Wilcox? Mm hmm Someone like you has a great deal to offer our company. Actually, I do. I've been thinking of putting together a business proposal to expand my mom's cafe to other cities. Local produce, family recipes. But they could be exclusive inside Save Now stores. Uh, I'd like to see your prospectus. I'll have it to you next week. business and family. You admire me? I do. And it just took me a concussion to realize it. No, seriously. You're my new definition of success. You have it all. I do now. Maybe someday I can have it all too. You already do. Come on, let's go. Here it comes, everybody! Still set to open New Year's Day, no more red tape, right? No, as long as everything is restored to its original condition. Well, it is now. How did you come up with that idea for your mom's cafe? I don't know, I just kind of dreamt it up. A chain of sweet melodies, now that kind of has a ring to it. How'd you know I was going to call it that? I don't know, I just kind of dreamt it up. Yeah. 